On the whole, caravanners fall into two camps. You've got the fixed bed evangelists who think there's nothing better, and the traditionalists who go for the make it up yourself approach. Now, it's hard to argue with either of them because they both have a bit of a point. There's something particularly luxurious about having the bed made up all day so you don't have to do it in the evening. But at the same time, there's always a compromise, usually in terms of space. The bed itself tends to be quite short and you tend to squeeze the lounge area a bit. Well, perhaps this Bailey Unicorn Madrid is the answer. Well, for couples at least. This dinette area is plenty big enough for two people to sit and dine at most of the time, which means that you can leave the front parallel lounge made up as an enormous double bed. Or, if you don't like sharing a bed, two decent sized singles. If you happen to have guests coming over for the evening, you can pop the bedding away, move to the front, and you've got a massive lounge that will seat six or possibly even eight at a push. Yet the rest of the time, it acts almost like a fixed bed. Bailey's so confident that it's for couples only that it's actually deleted the fourth bunk option from the Madrid. So if you've got an occasional guest, you get a decent six foot three inch single made up of the dinette by dropping the table. And if you really must have a fourth, the bunk is there as a cost option. Now when Bailey launched the Unicorn 3, it decided to rationalise production by putting the Madrid into the larger body shell shared by all but the two berth Seville, which means you end up with a vast space inside. You could just about have a game of tennis in here. And there's also enormous amount of storage. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven overhead lockers. There's also a sideboard, kitchen storage, under bunk storage, and here a massive wardrobe. In the washroom, there's even an airing cupboard and a neat laundry basket. The fixtures and fittings feel more solid and the finish more refined than unicorns of old. I love details such as the built-in shaving mirror, not to mention the enormous new fully lined shower behind that smart Perspex door. One thing that really appeals to me about the Madrid is how well it's laid out. The battery sits here in the floor, roughly near the centre line of the van to aid weight distribution, and the control unit for it is just beside it, beneath this rather natty slimline tower fridge freezer which brings us neatly onto the kitchen. Now, just like the battery, the gas bottles are placed near the central line of the van. That really ought to eat into storage space, which is why Bailey have created this kind of island unit. It means you keep lots of storage beneath, and there's also plenty of worktop space on top, particularly when you fold up the worktop extension flap. It means you don't have to resort to using the sideboard on the other side of the van, leaving a space for your telly. Now, there are a couple of bits and bobs I really like in this kitchen. Obviously, there's the obligatory dual fuel hob, and separate oven and grill, plus a microwave. All top spec vans have to have those. But I really like this little cocktail cabinet here. There's only room for three bottles in it. Perhaps a little bit of moderation in your drinking is always a good idea. Of course, one of the unique selling points of the Unicorn is this full height opening front window. Now, whether you're a fan or not, and I must confess I definitely am, you've got to admit it really does fill this room with lots of light. In fact, there's lots of glazing all the way around this van you get the feeling it would make the most of a pitch with a really good view. This one is fitted with the standard Kensington trim, which feels a little dated to me, although I quite like the purple curtains and cushions. But if you want to upgrade, it's about £199, and that'll buy you Trafalgar trim, which is a carryover from the Autograph motorhome range. Now these long sofas are usable as singles, but you just simply pull slats out from beneath the front chest, and you can make it into a massive double. It's six foot six across and six foot two wide. Plenty roomy enough. At the front here, there's also a pull out table beneath this useful front shelf. But if you want to use the full freestanding table, that's kept in the wardrobe at the back. We've seen other models in the 2015 Unicorn range before, of course, and the Madrid just builds on the same qualities with a much improved look thanks to that facelifted front end and the switch from Magnolia to polar white sidewalls. I also really like that new Bailey flying bee motif. And you get the reassurance of Alutec construction, which should ensure a good amount of longevity. At a shade under £21,000, the Madrid isn't exactly cheap for a three berth van, but when you look at the kit list, it still seems like fantastic value. You get Aldi wet central heating, a Truma 100 watt solar panel, alloy wheels, and apparently half the contents of the Alco factory. There's ATC anti snaking device, an AKS hitch stabiliser shock absorbers, secure wheel locks, the list goes on. So before you order your next fixed bed van, why not have a look at one where you get to choose whether you leave the bed made up or not? 
perhaps it could offer you the best of both worlds.